This is the Star Wars The Black Series Ray Jedi Training Force FX Lightsaber. I picked up this particular piece at my local Toy Kingdom and it set me back. Uh, well, this is the retail price. It's 12,000 pesos, which roughly translates to about $240. But I was lucky enough to pick it up at a weekend sale and I got it at 20% uh, off. So, very happy with that. Okay, uh, you're probably wondering why it's wrapped in cling wrap. I was wondering too, myself, when I, when I tried, when I picked it up. And the reason for that is uh, these things get banged up and dinged inside the store. Because, you know, they're kids and all that. And some idiot uh, collectors who don't know how to take care of merchandise they it gets banged up so to protect that for future customers they decided to wrap the lightsabers in cling cling wrap or saran wrap and i thought that was a decent thing to do so it's pretty long i give you a standard length of the force effects lightsabers and i've not opened up this fig this figure this particular lightsaber we're going to open it together and i guess that we should do it here since this has already unraveled uh, and you can expect that the package or the box is going to be in very pristine condition because of the wrapping they've put on it. Hopefully, hopefully not too many major dents. Because the box of, of these four specs lightsabers, they're gorgeous. Now I'm not into the uh, third party lightsabers, the combat lightsabers or dual lightsabers. I'm not really into that. I'm only into the official products. Um, I've not tried a Disney exclusive uh, lightsaber. I hear there is a Disney version, Disney Disney Park exclusive of this particular lightsaber with the removable blade, but um, I'm quite happy with this one. This is one blade, one lightsaber I've been trying to get. I missed out on Anakin, I missed out on Luke, and it's essentially the same one, just uh, I guess it'll have differences in lumens and the hues of blues for the blade. I don't know, I don't have the others, but um, yeah. I will compare them with some other lightsabers I have that are not force effects, so you get to appreciate how awesome a force effects lightsaber is. So, let's crack this um, this sword open. Uh, there's a lot of tape, so I'm guessing, I'm guessing we should do it here, just like the Kylo Ren. careful okay. okay there we go and then here on the side be careful when you're using an exacto knife or a box cutter as I always say respect the blade and it will respect you that should do it um, Turn it around. Box art is pretty standard. You get the Black Series artwork, uh, Ray, and all that. And on the other side, you get to see how it's displayed and all that. Very, very basic. I mean, if you if you've had previous uh, Force Effects lightsabers in the past, this is this is not going to be very different. So let's let's take it out. Packaging, shall we? So nice styrofoam casing, and this is. This is obviously the uh, the base, which I don't plan on using, so I should keep that in the box. Uh, it has a instruction sheet on how to operate the lightsaber, how to display it, and I guess how to install the batteries. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh, it's interesting, you don't need a screwdriver. I was thinking I'd whip out my pocket knife and from the looks of it it doesn't need a lightsaber you just twist it by the handle just like the other like the other swords like Kylo Ren and all that so all right I'd forgotten how efficient these things are and it uses three triple a, double a batteries double a 1.5 volt batteries so that's great okay. so Okay, let me let me just do all this thing. It's, as you can see, it's all clearly in package. And uh, 
you want to you want to see me do this or uh maybe i should do it off camera no where's the fun in that right let's uh oh, maybe i shouldn't have done that yep shouldn't have done that just do this so i can replace it ah. Okay, all right, styrofoam pieces are out, and it's in this poly, it's a poly bag, and uh, it's very shiny, it's a lot shinier than I expected it to be. Okay, so, well, get rid of that. Okay, let me give you a, a little bit of a perspective view on this one. Whoa, it is nice. Has this these things it's so accurate off on off uh -huh. yep love it love the details okay what is this sticker doing here uh, I guess it just tells you the on and off position uh -huh. yep and some warning labels and all that. So, yep, very nice. Okay, so I've managed to secure some AA batteries, Toys R Us batteries, and um, let's put them in, okay? Unscrew here to insert batteries. I guess, you know, you'd wanna take those off if you're really gonna display this piece, um, but I'm not, I'm not really into displaying these things, so I'm gonna keep them. Okay, and then the battery compartment. Okay. Springs are negative, so just be careful with that. And the arrow tells you how to insert it. of light somewhere and okay okay it's on tight okay now let's take a look at how the blade is with all the lights on okay see if it'll make a difference wow it's very bright It, if the camera is picking it up as a hot, hot white glow, but it's actually a very blue glow. And let me see if I can, yep, right, right there, right there. If, uh, right there, that's how it is. It's a little bit darker than that, what you're seeing right now. Uh, but uh, maybe if I move it away, no, it's not happening. Okay, um, so yeah. Um, it makes us let's let's check the effects it does the standard lightsaber um motion the uh flashing effect and yeah pretty cool okay now let's look at how bright the blade is with the lights dimmed okay um all right turn it on Feels the same, but there's a bluish, there's a better hue of blue on camera, but it is very, very neon blue. Uh, I, I wish you could see it, but um, the camera is picking it up as a very hot, white fluorescent, incandescent sort of beam, and it's not doing it justice, and I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Yeah, okay. Yeah, right there. Maybe if I move further back. Mm -hmm. No, it's it's just it's just too bright. And the camera is just seeing it as white. It's a shame, but it is actually blue. And as you can see the surrounding light. Uh, it is blue. Right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
I like it. I like it. I like the hilt. I like the color of the blade. Somebody tell me in the comment section below if, uh, if the blades are different with the other releases. Okay, let's look at some other lightsabers to compare it with. All right, and here are some other lightsabers that I have in my collection. Uh, so right there is the one we're reviewing, the uh, Force FX lightsaber. This is the Anakin Skywalker, Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker, Ultimate effects lightsaber. I thought the Ultimate effects lightsaber line was pretty nice. Um, it's a shame Hasbro decided to discontinue it or, or put out just a couple lightsabers here and there. I think the last one we saw were from the Rebels line, Darth Vader and Yoda, and maybe uh, Kanan, but... Um, it's a shame that they discontinued it. I thought it was pretty nice. It, it was it was very economic, economic friendly, collector friendly, and kids. It was a nice way to introduce kids, the younger generation, into the the uh, LED lightsabers. And maybe eventually they, once they've grown up, they did get go move into migrate into the force effects. But uh, it's a shame. It's made of plastic, shorter blade, and this one is the standard toy uh, for kids the uh, telescoping lightsaber uh, this is Ray's lightsaber obviously it's also Anakin and Luke and and then and it's uh, it, it's in that standard uh, toy box with the with the window and all that so um, the in here in the Manila if you shop for lightsabers here in Manila the force effects lightsaber uh, will set you back roughly like what I said two hundred and forty dollars two hundred fifty dollars uh, the um, the ultimate effects lightsaber is around fifty sixty dollars and then uh, the basic telescoping lights and sound lightsaber um, will set you back uh, about twenty five thirty dollars but uh, currently they're on clearance here in Manila for about ten dollars so let's see how they fare so let's start with the the kids toy the uh, uh blade builders lightsaber so it's pretty cool pretty neat um you get to see more of the light down here because it uses one bulb and all that here is the ultimate effects oh sorry how anticlimactic of me as you can see, it's very nice, but uh, the LED bulbs are spaced quite far from each other, so you get to see some gaps. But nevertheless, it is a nice blade to have when you cosplay or when you go trick-or-treating and all that. I really like it. This is what we bring out when we go trick-or-treating or when we take pictures with Star Wars displays and all that with, my, with the kids and all that. So, okay, now let's check the force effects. And obviously the lumens are much greater. It feels like it's a very hot plasma blade and uh, it just really uh, outshines the rest. And this is for the hardcore collector. I mean, if you're, if you're really into these lightsabers, you, you want to start, you know, slow, not go into the, um, the really commercial ones that are for dueling and for exercises and all that um, then this is this is a nice way to do it but for kids who are out, slowly outgrowing the uh, the uh, blade builders and you know, I don't need this anymore this would have been a very nice stepping stone uh, before getting into the actual lightsabers and it's a shame that they discontinued this okay so um, with that um, I really like it I mean it's gonna obviously gonna get a 10 out of 10 for me I'm a big fan of the Force Effects lightsabers. These are things that I thought that you know I'd never purchase when I was buying the toys when I was a kid and all that. I always wanted a lightsaber ever since I was a kid and right now I'm just a big sucker for lightsabers and even if I don't cosplay as often. I usually just cosplay Sith Lords like Darth Vader um, or uh, I did one from a couple of years ago from the Old Republic or uh, and then I, I did Kylo Ren a couple of years now and uh, but uh, I've just been a sucker for these lightsabers and I really really like them especially the the force effects uh, version so uh, yeah 
Uh, very nice. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video review. Um, and, you know, like I've given pointers on which ones to buy, especially when you're buying shopping for your kids. Uh, they're great. Uh, Hasbro products, and I uh, really, really like them. There you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little video review. This has been the Star Wars of the Black Series. Uh, Ray in Jedi training. Force FX lightsaber. Thanks for watching.